Well, that's not good. back I made a video where I changed the oil in this Ford 1700 and I put in 5W40 full synthetic oil and the reason I did that is because last summer after working the machine hard the oil pressure light was coming on at idle. The situation is now worse. As you can see once the machine is just warmed up I don't even have to work it real hard and then I get that low oil pressure light coming on, definitely at idle, but even all the way up above 1500 RPM. And then if you hold steady, that light will kind of start to glow. So that definitely makes me nervous. There is a chance it is just the sender. That's really what I'm hoping for. But to figure that out, rather than just order a new sender, what I did was I ordered an oil pressure test kit and I'm gonna measure the actual oil pressures in the engine just to be absolutely sure that things are working okay. And it is indeed just the sender, if that is the case. Now for $30, I picked up this Pittsburgh engine oil pressure test kit from Harbor Freight. The kit comes with a pressure gauge and then a number of fittings, depending on what the engine has for threads where the sender is installed you've got different fittings to go in there. Now, based on what I can find online, the Ford compact tractors from the 80s have a British standard pipe thread fitting, an eighth inch British standard pipe thread fitting. And there is one of those in here. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's this little elbow right here. So it's just ever so slightly different from the NPT fitting. Now, for some reference about where we are, this is the right side of the machine as you sit in the operator station and look forward. We've got our oil dipstick right here, and then right beside it where we see this wire coming out, that is the oil pressure sender. So I've got to disconnect this wire, and then we've got to unthread the sender from the block and put in that fitting so we can attach the pressure gauge. I can't really get the camera in closer and actually work in here. This is a Phillips head screw. And when I was first trying to do this, the whole thing was starting to spin. So I got pliers on it to try and hold the sender so that I can loosen the screw and slip that wire off. Now, I don't want to pull my oil filter just to do this, but as you can see, there's not a lot of room to work up in there and get on that. On top of that, we got this bolt in the bell housing in the way too. So this is gonna be a tricky one. Much as I don't want to, I really don't see another way around taking the oil filter off to get some access in here. Because it's so tight in here, I'm using an adjustable wrench. This isn't really the tool to be doing this with. I'd prefer to use a socket, but we don't really have good space in here. So there are the threads. So bringing this up here 
with the kit. I'm thinking this is the match and this is the British pipe thread. Here's one that's NPT. Very close, but I think the DSPT is the right one. So I'm gonna go try and thread this carefully into the tractor. As to be expected, there's a little bit of oil dripping out. Let's see if we can thread this in here. We won't go crazy tight. That should be all right. Of course, now I gotta thread the hose in here. Well, I've had a devil of a time getting this to start threading in here because I've got this five foot hose to the gauge and the end of this is not a swivel fitting, so I guess that's what happens when you settle for the inexpensive test kit. Okay, get our oil filter back on here. Stick. We'll check, but it was at the full mark. So with how much we lost, yeah, I'm not worried. Okay. So now I'll take that gauge up to the operator station. We'll start the engine and see what happens. And I'll have to check this for leaks too, but let's see what we get. <sighs> for a while and see what happens. So at idle, we're getting about 55 PSI, somewhere in the mid 50s. The relief valve is supposed to be 35 to 57 PSI, according to the service manual. And it doesn't take much throttle to raise that pressure right up. Running for a while longer now, got a bit hotter. Our idle oil pressure is now sitting around 45 psi. And if we throttle up, I'm thinking we're all good. Well, those pressures look just fine to me. So seems that it is just the oil pressure sender that's tripping too soon because the lowest pressure I saw was about 45 PSI at idle. The relief valve pressure is 35 to 57 PSI. Full bore, wide open throttle. It was running 72-ish PSI. I'm, I'm glad I did this 
just to know for sure. Now I will go ahead and order a new sender. However, I'm not in a great rush. So I'm just gonna put this machine back together with the old sender and I'll ignore the light for a while. Within a few weeks, I'll have a new sender and all should be well.